guys we are here today to unbox Moto C Plus as you can see I have just bought it and it's still packed inside this box although I opened the box uh, it's available with Flipkart I don't know if the sales are still going on but you can check it out and it's only available online if you're looking for a cheaper option you can also go ahead with Moto C which is costing you around 6000 bucks and it is available offline on stores. This beauty, little beauty, costs you around 7000 and is only available on Flipkart. So let's go for it. So this is how the box looks like and Moto C is placed inside into it. Let's play, take this out. <clears throat> the phone is quite light when you take it first in your hand but don't be surprised it doesn't have the battery. So the battery is removable and it's beast it's a very beasty battery so we're going to check it out as well say it's yellow model which is pretty cool few accessories are in there the these are uh, the new types of earphones which i have seen uh, usually moto used to send the earphones which had oval type of mic but this is a new one so we'll check this out later Charger, IC adapter charger, which is 5.2 volts and 2 ampere current. This uh, is the normal charger, and it doesn't say anywhere uh, whether it supports turbo charging or not. And neither does the specification over the uh, flip card or anywhere says that this phone actually uh, supports turbo charging. So we'll have to check that out when we uh, use any other phone's turbo charger to see if actually turbo charging is, uh, turbo charging is, is supported by this phone. That's the data cable which is pretty normal. Uh, Moto, uh, I also had Moto G4 Plus. So Moto G4 Plus actually shipped with black uh, charger and cable. This one actually supports white. It's perfectly fine. So this is a little beastie and quickly. So it's readme, user manual and uh, safety and regulatory and legal if you want to read this I had never interest in reading all of these so we'll talk about the battery I'll put this box inside so I'll put everything inside so that we do not ok so yeah hello motor should be here battery is beastie it says motor here so it's just a flap and you have to open the flap and take the battery out Lithium iron polymer battery. You can also find the specs behind 3.8 volts lithium iron polymer battery. So, which is perfectly fine. So, to plug in this battery, we need to open the back panel. The only motor phone that actually supports removable battery is Moto C Plus. First one of them. So, the panel is right here if you can see this. And it's a little hard, uh, I opened it partially just so that for the video. Connection should be made here and it, it's there. So, fixes battery perfectly, very tight. And we want to move the battery into places here, exactly. Speaker and few nuts here and there. Two SIM card slots, which is SIM 1 and SIM 2. A dedicated micro SD card slot, which I personally love because I don't want to use a one uh, you know, SIM card and one micro SD card. So, both of them. I want to use two SIM cards and one micro SD card. Those are two numbers. So, this is what I love in Moto. Flashlight and a camera. We'll talk about them later on. So, we'll just put the back. And... Uh, Okay, before switching on the phone, let's go ahead with it. The build quality is quite clean. So let's disable the screen. Screen is 5 inches. You do not have any uh, navigation, you won't have any navigation bar into the embedded into the software. This is just pure Android vanilla. When we say that, there are no uh, any mod no, no modifications like no motor actions, no chop chop feature, nothing else. So the hardware buttons are here, back, home and reset, 5 inch screen as I said which is HD, front camera and flashlight, front flashlight which is an addition to the Moto series and the Moto little uh, logo which is copied from Moto G5 Plus as well, you can find this on Moto G5 as well. 
speakers there. Looking back side, uh, the back panel is more of a matte finish, so you won't, it won't slip out, slip out of your hand when your hands are sweating and stuff. So uh, a few things have changed when I bought Moto G4 Plus. So Moto G4 uh, had power button upside uh, up and volume buttons down. So here volumes are up and power button is below it. Which is this speaker is actually a boom speaker which I have read in the reviews as well. So boom speaker and it has very loud sound. And the Moto logo which is right. So the charging slot is up here as well as the Jack. So I'm going to switch it on. It does vibrate a little. And Android 7.0, it ships with Android 7.0 out of the box, which is perfect. You know the phone does actually. So, yes, Moto, uh, buying Moto has its own profits as well. Boot up screen lags a bit, so I am not going to be uh, going to show you that the performance will be very good on this phone. This phone is just the battery and a little bit power, so if you are looking for gaming, I don't think this phone is suited. So I will get back to you when we are starting on this. Okay guys, so we are back here and the all set up to start the Moto C Plus, how it does the device performance. So the basic is, now we are going to see how the devices and how the launchers are. So the launcher is the basic Moto launcher that you can find more details about here in the apps and the Pro system. Moto app launcher. So that is the uh, launcher which basically Moto has modified a little and took it is a pixel launcher style and has been modified a little. So yeah, four columns and the rows. It is vertical scrolling. So uh, there are few basic apps which are provided with the for this phone. They are photos as such and Google Duo Drive and all comes with the default ROM that Google is providing. So YouTube Gaming is obviously installed by me and AZ Screen Watch is also installed by me. So everything else, the only addition to what I have seen in other phones that comes is Duo. And since it is Android Vanilla which is the purest form of Android, so there is no uh, additional modification by Lenovo or Moto you can say. Either way like Moto Actions wherein Chop Chop feature was there wherein you can actually open your camera by you know shaking it a little bit. All of that used to work. So, now let's talk about the settings portion a little bit. Settings are the same which is for and uh, which is for Nogget however you can also drag uh, swipe from the left and you can find the shortcut and you jump directly to any screen you want so if you want to go to Wi-Fi you can click Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi is there you can obviously jump back to display again so this phone doesn't have an ambient light sensor so it does not support any adaptive brightness moreover the brightness level is enough so that you can also go in bright sunlight and again it doesn't really affect your eyes at night so it is perfect for me wallpapers you can select if you want any so there are live wallpapers if you need photos if you have to any wallpapers are provided by there are two wallpapers as you can see so we can always change it set wallpaper home screen in both either way you want so we'll come back Screen service clock, you can check that basically on your what your requirement is. Font size, you can make it a little low and keep it default since I want to see stuff. And uh, yeah, display size can be reduced, which is the feature of Nogget basically. Since this phone ships Android 7.0, which is Nogget. So, rest all is the same. If you go to more tab, you can find it in more tethering and VPNs. Since I do not have any SIM card into it, so there is no mobile network present there. But this phone does support 4G for both the, for both the SIMs. Okay, going back, uh, there, when when you start with the phone, there will be obviously there will be vibration in the in, uh, 
panel below where you have the hard, hard button which is back home so if you can, in case you want to close that you can go to sounds and you can scroll down to other sounds and you can you know close whichever you want so touch sounds basically give you sounds when you ever you click this tap the screen vibrate on tap is actually for the buttons which are uh, back home and recent screen locking sounds and dial back tones so you can change everything here media volumes ringtone volumes power up sound you can change if you want to sound enhancement has the volume booster for the speaker which is behind which we uh, just talked about so you can switch it on and off so we'll we can we do, I do not have any sound uh, do not have any SD card in this device so I want to test the sound right now which on which I'll be doing a video after some after some days so let's go back apps check the number of apps that are installed here so you can basically go here and check all the apps if you click here so, so all apps enabled uh, the applications are enabled and disabled since there are no none so you won't get anyone here if you go here and you show system here there is a one which is disabled so if i check it out it will show me disabled in that field so that's really helpful this gear the little gear here actually shows me few of them are permissions so if there is any permission that you want to give or do not want to give any application exactly it actually helps you there so for example i don't want location to be coming to uh, to be used in chrome so I can just put it here and deny anyway and just Chrome won't be able to use this location permission anytime but since I need it so I'm going to switch it back on yeah okay the home app is uh, so the default this is the default portion basically opening links so whenever you click on a link which application do you want to launch for it and stuff that is what is going to help you there assist and voice out input similarly the google uh, assistant which we are talking about here so yeah that's the google app here i'm going to go back and home lab launch home app which is more app launcher so any other launcher when you if you want to install any customized launcher or any other launcher like nova or anyone else you can obviously come here and set it as default if you're not able to set it as default uh, when you are installing it okay Special access can actually tell you uh, which applications are using the special access like uh, these two are the ones which are using uh, battery or not using battery optimization so they can freely uh, you know take your battery away from you okay similarly notification access sorry yeah modify system access not notification access special access is all about them okay apps is done we'll come back here storage you get 11 gb of storage out of 16 gb so 3.37 is including everything uh, which is your rom the os and the application which i installed battery battery has battery saver is by default is on never turn it on automatically i needed 15 percent and you can switch it on the status bar goes orange as usual in the motor phones I'm going to switch it off since I need it for the video. You can also go here and you can check what is using your battery since you can see the green bars for Wi Fi and mobile networks, in which is not going, which should not be, it is not going very good. It's still trying to search for something. Cell standby. Here you can also find battery optimization. So you can find out with all the applications and which of them are actually not optimized, which we saw in special access it's very similar so you can reset if you have put any into optimized for the time being screen you'll find some few information here which is the time on so how long in total up till today from the when since when your phone booted the screen has been on is the time on here let's go back here memory so it, it is a 2gb phone 2GB RAM uh, this phone has which is quite good for the phone and I believe normal day to day tasks and a few uh, applications like WhatsApp and uh, Google Duo or you want to use Skype or any other chatting applications you can use properly browsers will also be supported and the phone will function without any uh, lag that is what I am claiming 2GB is enough for them so now this is a, in this specifically if I talk about this specific memory tab 
this just talks about on an average memory usage so on an average up till now 7.766 mb is used so if you click here you'll find what is actually using so android os is the highest one which is using the ram is 362 mb and google play services and which to follow we'll come back we'll talk more about this uh, specific memory and ram information so there is this place where you can actually find out real time what is being used what is not being used okay so users since i am logged in with my account so that's ab of course location so three uh, three choice for location as usual so it is high accuracy or battery saving or gps high accuracy takes up a lot of battery but gives you a very precise location gps does not take much battery but does not provide location as well my personal personal favorite is battery saving so on the basis of mobile cell towers bluetooth and wifi that you use you can actually the phone can actually tell you the code the location on the basis of that perfect so let's go back okay one more thing which i want to do stress here was you can go three dot and go to scanning so wifi scanning and bluetooth scanning these two things can take a lot of battery if so if there is un wanted drainage in your battery and you don't know why it is going on or if you find the wifi bar in the battery i'll just show you uh, where is the battery yeah so if this wifi bar in the battery is actually there even when the wifi is switched off you need to check this setting specifically so you go come into location portion Go back. You go into location, click on this, and you go to scanning. So if this is on, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are going to take a lot of battery. So make sure these are off. Okay. Security. You can find specific type whatever you want here. So you can. There is no fingerprint sensor unfortunately in this phone, so you cannot set up any fingerprint. However, you can set up another types of which is other types of screen locks which are pattern, pin, or password. coming back this gear i can get actually let you know lock screen messages you can encrypt your phone which requires full 100% battery before you start off It takes up approximately 30 minutes device admins and unknown source so you need to check this unknown source on if you are installing any apks directly and you are or you are using rooted uh, apks whenever you root your phone okay perfect accounts this specific area can be used for auto sync king data or auto syncing uh, or um, you know switching off the auto sync data option so any accounts when you install whatsapp you will have whatsapp account will be to show up here true caller will show up here and etc etc whatever whatever chat application you install it will be it will be here language and input if you want to add what language and whatever language you want to add you can do it here Backup and reset actually helps you. That's my email ID which I am using on this phone. So you can actually use this uh, to fast reset your phone or fast reset network settings in case you messed up anything. Date and time. I am not using any uh, SIM card right now, so uh, it is not exactly showing my time. This is showing Chinese standard time, but I am not in China, of course. So obviously, when you have switched this portion on. And you cannot send like the time zone. So if I say the time zone now, which is plus five thirty, which is we are in India, so Kolkata. So this is actually to show you the time where I am right now. So obviously, when you are you are inserting a SIM card, it will be updated automatically. Okay. Developer options. Uh, we are going to. I am going to show you how does this work. So, okay. This is this developer option is not. actually present when you are uh, actually when you are switching the phone on for the first time it is not there so you have to find this and you have to bring this out of the main uh, in the settings also this system ui tuner is not there as uh, the default option you have you have to have this make uh, to have this out of your settings portion so i'm going to tell you how we're going to do it for that we talk going to talk about about phone system updates of course the system is up to date we're going to check it it says device software is up to date you can 
check out status here so and other things like IP address, MAC address, etc. etc. serial number of the phone and uptime. So I'm using this phone since 42 minutes, it's showing 42 minutes. Moto C Plus is the model number, Android version is 7.0. Android security level patch is, patch is 5 f April, so it's June and uh, June's uh, security patch has been launched. So I'm expecting that there will be an update from the number to all the phones with the latest security patch. Call version is there, build number you can find and you can update and you can try to read the build number. I'll leave the description below. Custom build version, if you want, you can search Google. I have actually don't have any idea about this. Country code written, which is India, which is retail India. So written is the short form of retail India. Okay, system here too. I'm just gonna switch it off and I'll let you know how to print this back. Yeah. So developer settings can be achieved by clicking build number 7 times since I'm already a developer. You will get a number here so 3210 your developer settings are unlocked. This is how it becomes. This is how developer options look. So I would not actually recommend you to go ahead and switch this on. Anything can go wrong here which can actually affect a lot of functionality in your phone. So please not do anything that you don't know in the phone few options here which you can uh, which you can use and which is which are very helpful so like stay awake you can obviously keep your uh, screen awake while it is charging it will never turn off oem unlocking is not to be touched unless and until you want to root your phone which avoids warranty so moto will know that you have tried to unlock your phone or you have unlocked your bootloader in order to root your phone so if you have done it already, there is no use to going in a warranty center to claim the warranty. Learning services, we'll get back to this soon. Web view, automatic system updates. So when you click this on, you won't get a notification. You will get a notification. I'm sorry. You will get a notification and it will, download, it will be downloaded and applied automatically. So keep this off just in case you want a little time to download or you are in very awkward position and your battery is going to go off. But it is still... Uh, you know downloading system update at the, at the background taking up all your battery debugging mode is for you know advanced operation when you are connected to the pc other options are which aggressive wi-fi to mobile handover so this option actually gives you a little help so whenever you are moving uh, from a wi-fi range to a non wi-fi range and you don't and you're downloading something or you're doing something really important which requires continuous internet so what the phone will do as soon as the wi-fi signal goes below a threshold level it will automatically hand it over to the mobile network which is which will be on so always allow wi-fi roam scans if you switch this on yes it is going to take a lot of battery and again it will scan for wi-fi every time and all the time and not going to sleep Mobile data always always active, so this will keep your mobile data always active and will not switch off your mobile data ever. Even if you do so, it will switch it back on. Select USB configuration, so it will actually it actually helps you to understand uh, how do you want to use the USB which you are connected just now. So you want to just it use uh, you want it to use just for charging or media transfer or picture or USB Ethernet or you want it to be as a MIDI or an audio source. Either way. Okay. So I'm gonna switch this on, which will show me where I am doing and what I am doing. Okay. Next and very important thing which I'm going to fall back is this animation portion, which will come back. Okay, we're going to talk about the smallest width. Smallest width is basically the DPI setting which I'm going to put here. So the low it is the more bigger your screen will be so if i it was 420 right now so i'll show you it's 420 right now if i put it 400 it's going to increase my size of my screen Let's see which is 399 approximately 400 so if i the highest value can be anything but make sure your phone supports it so before doing anything you should actually know what you're doing other of them can be tested out if you want to but please do not play if you don't know what you're doing or you don't know how to revert back the settings 
okay you should come out of this soon yeah okay so well, I'm going to show you how the system UI tuner is going to go however just before that I'm going to touch upon since we were in the developer section so I'm going to touch upon the running services so this area of the developer option is the best part which I like personally so it is going to actually tell you on the real time what and who is using our RAM how much it is using your RAM so system is using 304 apps is using 303 and the free is 1.3 out of 2 so it, you can actually find out how much settings is using how much recorder is using and stuff and stuff you can also go here and you can switch it here off by clicking the stop button not going to do that just in case it hampers my recording for the video it's not going to do that catch process basically helps you in understanding what processes are catched and if you want if you don't if you're not going to use any in the recent uh, future so you can actually switch them off like I'm not going to use you to be able to switch it off twice or thrice it actually turns off and you can actually it will actually free up a little bit of the RAM since it was a 2026 GB MB so it's not going to show any you know, difference in 1.1 GB this is real time running processes and cache process which you can find out is the coolest feature which was actually found out in the apps portion of the settings in uh, Jelly Bean and KitKat however and even Lollipop as well however it has been changed since Marshmallow that's what I believe the other portion is over I'm going to show you how to come back to system UI tuner so you go back here and you press this settings icon yes that's an icon for like five or six seconds okay I didn't press it I'm going to press it again five or six seconds and it goes off and it says congrats system UI tuner has been added to the settings scroll down you find system UI tuner waiting for you there uh, you can read this stuff understood I know what it is so you can actually this system UI tuner which says status bar actually shows you what all icons will be shown in the status bar so whatever is green will be shown if it is on so, for example Wi-Fi on my status bar is on and since it is green here it is showing if I switch it off it's not, it won't show switch it on it's back again battery you can actually find out what is the person of your battery so it is showing 49% for me right now so by default it only shows percentage and it is charging but you can always click here and you can find out what percentage it is, it is. time you can switch it to seconds as well that is but it might uh, we are like running on the clock so I don't really use it you can want you can use it if you want to no issues do not disturb you can actually use this with the volume control so whenever I pull the volume control sorry that didn't work out okay when I pull the volume control you can actually pull it on and off on find out when do you want within one hour you want or uh, sorry within one hour you want how do you want it I'm going to edit now and try again. Yeah, so it's priority only or alarms only, total silence, how you want, it's your choice. Okay, volume button shortcut, you find it there. Coming on others, this is the best part, so you can wipe up and you can come and fix the screen portion. Power notification is also a very good portion, so when you're clicking it on, you'll actually have five levels sorry six levels of no, uh, levels of notification priority basically so you can read all of them what they mean and if you want you can actually go ahead and set up how you to set up is this for example i'm using this recorder so i'm going to long press it it shows me the importance is automatic so i can click it here a and i can set it up myself whatever i want when you're done, press done. So you can switch it on, switch it off. Your wish. That's how it is. So this is the UI tuner if you want to remove. You can remove from settings. That's what I did. Okay. All the things are covered. So on and on, this uh, phone ships with the most recent Android. It's in 7000, which is 7000 uh, 7, rupees phone, which ships with 7.0 
Android Nougat, Vanilla, no modifications done, pure Android as you can find any Google phone which is Nexus or Pixel has 2GB of RAM, 16GB out of which 11GB is usable obviously it is expandable to 128GB by the SD card micro SD card and it has everything that you want there's a big battery however the performance might lag a bit if you're using a heavy any any of any of the heavy gamings 2gb is enough to handle day-to-day -day processes day-to-day -day chart applications however if you are opening the recents many much many of the screens in the recent it might lag a bit because that is uh, taking up a lot of ram because in android whatever his hair is not closed as long as it can be accommodated in the, in the RAM. So basically, phone is good for seven thousand rupees. I'll be doing. I'll be working on this phone, and I'll be finding out what and how the phone performs. The, how much? How much? How many days actually it can go over the screen? What's the screen on time and stuff? But for that, we have to wait until the ROM settles down and the battery has completed its one full cycle. Since it is still a new phone, I've just switched it on. So. Whenever you switch it on, do not use the phone below 40% and charge it full with the original charger. I would recommend you not to switch on the phone until it is fully charged. However, you can do it. You can. That's not. Uh, that, that's that's not very important. That's not a thumb rule that you have. You cannot switch it on. You can obviously. It's your phone. Lithium-ion polymer battery doesn't get effect, much affected by memory and also do, doesn't get much affected by this uh, uh, switching of the uh, phone while charging. But first charge is really important so you should give it as quickly as possible. Rest, lithium-ion polymer battery, you can find many tips on Google if you want to. My main tip which I use personally and which actually gives me a lot of battery is I keep the battery between 30% to 80%. So, do not uh, let it fall below 30 if, if you have done it that's fine not a rule of thumb again however you should not do it once in a while once in one month or two months you can actually go ahead and you can drain the, all of the battery and then you know charge it up to 100% completely so that's that's uh, a few tips on battery otherwise 4000 mAh is more than I would say very very big battery very beast battery for supporting such a small phone with just 2gb of ram and basic basic everything of usage that you can do 4000 should take you to one one and a half days or if you're using it perfectly it should make you through two two and a half days which is which which is actually great for any android since there is no modification so no uh, application will be running in the background it will be just android pure android stock whatever applications you want you always have uh, play store here and youtube is obviously google applications come and installed google duo is one of them which is new which i mentioned before so you can update them you can use them as and when you want camera is actually good we'll be doing another separate video on cameras and videos it can actually record and uh, the type of photography it is the flashlights front camera and stuff so we can do that we'll do that next time i'm also doing a few videos on finding out how many or what type of games this phone can run and what is the heating up level of the phone and stuff we can also do i'll also be mentioning in that next video how the sound is how good the sound is how loud the sound is basically and the effect of that uh, specific sound uh, feature which is mentioned in the is mentioned the settings here so yeah volume sound enhancement i should say so volume booster for speaker how this performs so that's it for today guys this was the unboxing video from my end um, leave the comments if you want to know anything else about the phone this is new for me i'll be using it as well this is my secondary phone my primary phone is moto g4 plus which is now uh, rooted and i'm using custom roms on it so let me know if there is anything you want to know i'll surely work on it and I'll let you know Thank you so much guys, we have a good day.